This channel do not condone piracy of any kind. Asking for, providing or discussing illegal download links is not allowed. <laughs> Hello everyone, Game Daddy here. Today we'll be talking about Vita 3K Android. But before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with the latest news, tutorials, and anything about Android emulation, let's go. Vita 3K Android V6 is finally here. Here are the release notes. Fix BC2 and BC5 decompression bug, fixes the hashy textures on Mali GPUs, One Piece Unlimited, Dragon's Crown. Fix a bug with swizzled non-power of 2BCN textures. Fix some Vulkan validation errors. Fix issue related to memory trapping in host I.O., allows gravity rush not to softlock. Update Adreno tools and add turbo mode option for Adreno GPU. Automatically hide overlay after 10 seconds without using the touchscreen. Set debug color to black instead of yellow. Mainline updates. Add FSR upscaler. Implement don't underscore wait for MSG pipes fixes trails in the sky audio. Improve support for Vita native MSAA surfaces and implement shader depth replacement instruction, fixes most of the special effect issues Dragon Ball, Freedom War, Street Fighter. Implement app pause resume. Always refresh screen as a dialogue is being shown, fixes trails in the sky saves. Multiple GUI and language fixes. Implement some missing OpenGL surface formats. Improve implementation of CZS module is loaded, allows Caligula effect to go in-game. Implement and improve the JPEG decoder, fixes character portraits in Gravity Rush. Improve accuracy of controller implementation, allows amend games to go in-game. Refractor user management screen, add by cubic filter. Implement JPEG encoder, fixes saving in some visual novel. Implement visibility buffer using occlusion query, improve performance on Gravity Rush. Implement Visibility Buffer Increment Mode, fixes characters in Wise 8. Implement SUBFLR Dual Shader Instruction, fixes most of the graphical issues in Need for Speed. Fix Stencil and Depth Sampling, fixes most of the graphical issues of Gravity Rush. Multiple Kernel Fix and Implementation. Stub Motion Sensors, fixes the black screen in Gravity Rush. Mudlipple Other Fixes, this update will also invalidate existing shader caches. Some of these features, visibility buffer and surface sync, do not work yet with double buffer, you need to use native buffer or page table. Everything was only tested on a POCO F3, because that's the only device I own, so I can't make any guarantee about other GPUs, sorry. I strongly recommend using turnip drivers on Adreno devices if you can, I'm having a lot of issues with the default drivers. That's all, if you want to download the Vita 3 KV6, I'll leave a link in the description box below inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.